KRE has updated on how you are supposed to apply for a company KRE team, which involves uh, VAT as an obligation. In this video, we are going to look at the requirements and how you go about it. So, can you remember to subscribe to our channel, like and share to others so that it uh, reaches many people to be able to learn about this. So, first things first, you need to set up your requirements in order. So for the requirements, we require to have your business registration um, certificate or the company registration certificate, your CR12, uh, what we call um, your ID or the ID of all the directors, if your company has more than one directors. You also require to have your tax compliance certificate, that's for the directors, personal tax uh, compliance certificate. Your personal uh, PIN, uh, what we call the, <coughs> the business license, that is provided by maybe the county government. So for the documents that we'll be able to attach will be the business license, your ID, your CR12, and then your tax compliance PIN for the directors. So for these documents, you need to put them in a zipped folder like this one uh, in preparation to be able to attach them. So once you have those documents in order, now uh, we'll be able to log into ITAX, click on new PIN registration, taxpayer type, we select an individual, mode of registration, online, and we go to next. So for all the PIN, uh, we are able to put as an individual. So now, on the basic information here, the business type, we are registering for a company. So you will select company here at the top. Then uh, we have the business subtype. So this is a private company. For this case, you select a private company. The business registration certificate or the business registration number. So input the registration number of your business here. Then the business name. So what's the name of that uh, company? You need to put it here. Once you put the two, you need maybe now to put the business registration date. This is the date when the business was registered. So you can put that date here. Make sure it is as written to the, at the registration certificate. Then the business commencement date. When the business uh, will commence, mostly select the date of today. Accounting period month, when you do your, um, your accounting, so you select December for this case. If your business have any branches, no. Do you wish to declare legal representative, select no. Then we have the building, the building where your business is registered. Example here is trademark. Then the street of your business. Then we have the city where the business is operating. County. A district. 
select your district here from the county selected. Then you have your tax area from that district. Once uh, you put those uh, principal address in order, I will be able to put uh, the postal code and the town. So maybe we can put the PO box first. Once if you are not able to see the postal code here, maybe you can look for the uh, for the name of the area here. This one we want to see where city square is. So if I just select the city square, the postal code will just bring itself. Then you put the company number here. And if you put uh, the number, then you'll be able to you'll be required to put the email address and this is the email address that is uh, used by the company So once you input uh, this email address, just click outside, say OK, uh, then click on send OTP so that you are able to receive OTP that uh, will be sent to that email. So we can first of all jump the OTP, we'll be able to put it later. And you scroll down. Then uh, do you have an alternative email address? You can select no. Is the company you are registering a subsidiary? If not a subsidiary, we say no. Subsidiary means that maybe it's uh, it's operated or it's controlled by another company. Do you wish to declare your account or tax refund? If you used to declare your account at this uh, point, you can say yes. Which I select no. Then we come to the section. Eh? So this means what is your business operating on so you can select the the activity that uh, fits maybe uh, your business here for example we can say maybe the business <coughs> sorry is in this category <coughs> then you need to select the type you can say primary then you add so make sure you add for that category to, to, to appear down here. Then was the business formed as a result of accusation or commission? We say no. Then here we are required to attach the document. So the zipped file that we made that has the business license, uh, the director's uh, um, tax compliance, the director's ID, this is what we are supposed to uh, to put here so you can take note of the kind of document that KRE uh, requires so a zipped folder is easier to attach then so once you have that you click next then uh, it's a must for every company to have an income uh, tax obligation so you click on income tax obligation once you click on income tax obligation 
uh, it will auto-populate the date that you have required today. Then uh, down here, you can see the turnover tax under uh, the VAT. So today you want to register for VAT. So you click on VAT and click also uh, today's date. Down there, we have um, what we call <coughs> the turnovers. So remember that for you to be able to to have a VAT as an obligation, your turnover must have um, goods or you must be able to supply goods worth more than 5 million. So you can just put 5 million here as a figure for the whole year. Before the last, we can uh, put zero, zero. So turnover the second year, 5 million. And for the rest, we put zero, zero. Then uh, five million. Sorry, this should be five. Correct that. This should be five also. Then you put zero, zero. You have five million, then you put zero, zero here, then you click next. So once you click next, you require to provide uh, the director's pin. So that's why I said you must be having the director's pin. So the director's pin is required. For them, if it, the company has more than one director, make sure you have all the year uh, pins. So th at this point is where you put the director's pin. But on uh, what we attached, we did attach what we call uh, the tax compliance of the director. So here you will select the business associate is a director here. Then you will be required to input the pin. So once you input that pin, you can click outside and you see all the other details concerning the director you'll be able to auto populate Down here, make sure you click on that until this pin appears down here. Then you click next. On next, uh, you'll be required to input now the actual pin. Eh? Sorry, if you, are, if you have agent, someone who will be uh, submitting the the details on your behalf. So you will be able to put the, the details there, the pin of that agent. If you don't have the pin of that agent, just do these simple ones here, that is 25. Make sure there was an OTP that was sent here on basic information. Make sure you did put that OTP here. For now, uh, I don't have the OTP. To make sure you put the OTP sent to your email. So make sure you put the in OTP there. And once you're able to put uh, the figure here, you just need to click on submit and you will receive uh, what we call um, a notification that you have applied for a KRA pin with a VAT obligation and also income tax uh, obligation. So you wait for five working days for KRA to be able uh, to collect that or to be able to process and you'll be able to receive uh, this pin in your registered email address. So this is how we go about uh, registering for the KRA pin for your uh, business. So for any queries, always reach to us. We'll be able to assist you. And be sure to subscribe and invite others to our channel to learn more. Thank you.